Absolutely. So the awards, they celebrate uh, local businesses all across the city. Uh, those places that really make a neighbourhood, make a community. Mm. And we're really just wanting to give people in those neighbourhoods a chance to say, hey, this is my pub, this is my restaurant, I love this place and I want people to, to know about it. So it's also about finding hidden gems, like, like the Pigeon Holes Cup. Cafe, definitely. Yeah, we'll find out a little bit more about that in a second. I just I want to talk about nominations so far. I opened at the start of this month and I think 10,000 already. So there's a huge amount of interest around this. Absolutely. You know, more than that now, I think the number's just going up and up. So there are different stages to the process. The first one is that we ask Londoners uh, to say who they'd like to be in the running, mm -hmm. and then that process ends in a week and then we're going to ask people to vote on their favourites from those shortlists uh, and if you do want to vote then it's uh, timeout.com slash love London and you can you can tell uh, you can tell London about what you love. Okay George let's bring you in you mm. were one of the winners last year which which category was it was it best cafe? Best cafe in SC5 yeah in Camberwell. And you set up this uh, along with a friend after you left art college is that right? Yeah so we both studied theatre design went on to be theatre designers for about eight years and then for one reason or another got a bit sick of that and then um, yeah just decided to, to try our hand at opening our own business and it's always been a bit of a dream to kind of have our own space cook our own food um, be our own boss so mm. we just went ahead and did it. At the time was it was it a bit of a gamble London is such a competitive city did yeah. you think will this work? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it is really competitive, but in a way I think that's really good because it kind of makes you strive to do the best thing that you can do mm. and try and be a bit different. And that's why independence are really important, I think, as well, because everyone's offering something quite unique to the table. Yeah, this, um, this celebrates that independent culture that we have in the capital. It, that is important. I imagine you'd argue it's, it's very important. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think particularly where, where we are in Campbell, there's so many independents, which is brilliant. Um, and it creates a really great community in the area. And the key thing about Camberwell is there's a lot of old independents as well as new ones coming in, and it's about trying to build that going forward and supporting all the businesses together. Yeah. Johnny, those who, who win, what do they get out of this? I think they get um, recognition for you know, the amazing things that they're doing. Um, I think that they, uh, they get the sort of exposure that Time Out can offer, and I think that people really care about these awards and that actually... Uh, the people who've been voting and nominating, but also people who are just coming across them, take the opportunity to go and try out these places and to, to, uh, to see why they are so good and see why other people love them so much. So I, th I think, again, in, in sort of George's case, there was uh, a real uplift in business uh, after they were winners in the awards last year. And we would really like to do that to support those independents, those local businesses, as you say. George, have you felt that? continue on 12 months on are you still feeling the benefits from from last year's yeah win? absolutely I, mean, I think we we won it just having been open for a couple of months so it first of all confirmed that we were kind of doing the right thing by our community they kind of got behind us and said sort of you know yeah you're great which is brilliant so that gives you a lot of confidence moving forward and then yeah we've had people come in and just from seeing us in time out which is brilliant and extra exposure and through different websites and apps and blogs who approached us just by hearing about us on time out which is okay great. George and Johnny, thank you very much. So, uh, very quickly, if people want to uh, nominate, they go through the website, I assume. Yeah, timeout.com slash lovelondon, a week left to nominate, and then look out later on for the voting process.